Yo, yo, everyone. Good to see you again. Uh, hey, it's B and Carl once again coming back at you, and we are answering skeptics. This is part six, what I refer to as answering or responding to Forrest. Before we get to that, please, if you would, go to r4h.com or debunk.org, download our app. It's free. It's got all kinds of resources, and you can just have fun looking through all that stuff. Hey, so recap. Long time ago, we released this uh, video called The Fossil Record Proves Evolution, the debunked. Please notice the title. I'm going to say that every time. That's all we're trying to say, that the fossil record does not prove evolution, and on and on and on this goes. And I'm going to turn it over to you, Carl. Last time, we finished up with a few things, but there's one image that we used in the debunked video showing the Australopithecine out you know, for a picnic and you know, the, yep. the lady looking at her husband there and, well... Are the guys worshiping God in the background, though? <laughs> I do see that. I did notice that. Yeah, yeah. they got the they got the worship <laughs> praise music going and all that sort of thing. So, Australopithecine afarensis is uh, what's being depicted there as upright walking, our human ancestor. And so, we talked about a few things last time, but this time he goes to a very key piece. And let's take a listen to what he says that proves that this was an upright walking ancestor. The shape of their pelvis. That's that a long was really clip. Short. <laughs> <laughs> so last time, so what did much. we do? We covered. What did we cover the last time? The the oh my goodness, you talked the about spine the spine or the column. hole in the head or something yeah, like the that. The spinal column, the forming magnum, we but, a bunch but, of things, right? Okay, so, but now, now, undoubtedly, the pelvis. The, the pelvis shows that it worked. Okay, go for it. Let's the see, hips look, are where it's got... at, brother. The hips are where it's <laughs> at because if they're. Uh, the way that they're flared, if they're flared out, uh, the, determine one way that you walk. If they're flared in, determine another way that you walk. So instead of me answering okay. this, I ran across this video a long time ago. PBS Nova is called uh, In Search of Human Origins with Don Johansson. Don Johansson is the guy who discovered Lucy. And okay. I, I, I watched this video in its entirety. And there was one section in there that just blew my mind. So let's deal with the hips and we'll let Don Johansson and, uh, and his team. Sounds like a Shakira song. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Here we go. We needed Owen Lovejoy's expertise again because the evidence wasn't quite adding up. The knee looked human, but the shape of her hip didn't. Okay. Um, by the way, we're, we're going to play this entire thing and not pull snippets out of it. So this isn't cherry picking, yeah. but we're just going to break it down because it was very yeah. interesting what he said there. He said that the knee looked human. Now, we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about the knee, but let's take a look at the actual fossils for Lucy. And if you'll notice, they don't have a complete knee. And don't trust me, let's go to the non-Christian site, Talk Origins, that really doesn't like us and pretty harsh. And they, they said sure. very clearly that the skeleton called Lucy does not have an intact knee. But here's hmm. what's going to happen, bub. Anybody yep. that knows anything is going to say, see, you don't know anything about the fossils. Because they no. found, in 1983, the year before they found Lucy, they found AL-129-1. And that was a totally human knee. And I okay. agree. I agree. It was a totally human he uh, knee. But it's been assigned to Lucy, Australopithecine afarensis, because evolution is known, quote unquote, to be a fact. So therefore, humans weren't here. So a human couldn't have that knee. It had to belong to Lucy because that's what lived at that same time. I disagree. Uh, it's a totally human knee. The evidence shows it was yep. a totally human knee. It was a human. So, yeah, it was a human. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. the yep. knee. We're talking about the pelvis. And he said this, the shape of her hip didn't. Okay. The shape of her hip didn't what? It didn't look like a human, and that's bad because you can't walk like a human if the curvature of your hip, the, fl the way their hip flares doesn't allow you to do so. Right. What did it look like? Superficially, her hip resembled a chimpanzee's, Ouch. which meant that Lucy couldn't possibly have walked like a modern human. Hmm. But Lovejoy noticed something odd about the way the bones had been fossilized. When I put the two parts of the pelvis together that we had, this part of the pelvis has pressed so hard and so completely into this one that it caused it to be broken into a series of individual pieces which were then fused together in later fossilization. All right, Bob, you got any observations from that clip? Well, I have. So something breaks apart and it gets, it gets fossilized and it fuses together after it's dead? I... <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know a whole lot about this stuff, but it breaks apart. And then in later in some kind of fossilization, it puts it all together. Right. Yeah. The pelvis I, I, has pressed so hard and so completely into this one that it caused it to be broken into a series of individual pieces, which were then fused together in later, later fossilization. That's just, okay. I, I, th I, I always thought that when you died, the decay process kind of kicked in. The fuse of days were done, man. Um, yeah. So I find that very interesting as well. I think that's an interesting yeah. observation. I, and remember, what did he say before? And that it, the yeah, hips looked yeah. like a chimpanzee. Yeah, it resembled a chimpanzee's hip. But so, when she was alive, they had to look like a human. So what's the explanation on how you went from human hip to chimpanzee? You're going to love this because yeah. this is their okay, stuff. Good. I, I can't wait. After Lucy died, some of her bones lying in the mud must have been crushed or broken, perhaps by animals browsing at the lake shore. Uh, this has caused the two bones, in fact, to fit together so well that they're in an anatomically impossible position. All right. Yeah. So you, you caught how that <laughs> happened, right? I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to need you to explain it to me. I get lost <laughs> at this stuff. It's like, I, I just find what I find, but then I'm building all kinds of stories around it. And Okay, anyway, keep going. So Do, do what you got to do. Lucy's taking a stroll down by the lake one day. And she just happens to die. And so while the body lays there and all the flesh rots off and the bones get exposed, an animal, they showed a deer hoof, steps on oh, her hips, okay. crushes her hips, and then they fuse back together. But now they're no longer curved like a human. Now they're curved like a chimp. You see, Bob, this is why we don't have any problems. We know that it had a hip <laughs> like a human because it was we're, found to look like a chimp. But an animal stepped on it to crush it so that it fused together. Yeah. So now it looks like a chimp. All the way back to the fossil record, though. Back so Forrest is like, we're sure that they walked upright. I Because in the video, I said, why does it, the artist depict them walking upright? And he yeah. goes, because they walked upright. And here's why, right? Yep. Here's the, the here's, pelvis. Here's the thing in the back of the head. And now yep. here's the pelvis. And the yep. pelvis from Lucy gets us to this artist rendering of this. That's what they really think happened. That's what they think the fossil record really proves. That was the explanation that, picture, that they gave. Come on, man. And then, and then it comes down to... To the pelvis here, which the pelvis is oh golly, I just I mean I just stop and go. It's an, read enough, that enough. quote. Read that quote, Bob. This has caused the two bones, in fact, to fit together so well, they're in an anatomically impossible position. So the crushing of the animal made these things fit so well, but it can't work because it's <laughs> anatomically impossible. But and they the fit only, so well, the perfect fit. The only huh. way, the only way that it doesn't work being shaped like a chimp as if it was actually curved like a or if it was actually human hips to begin with but if it was an ape to begin with then the curvature yep. or the the hips should be flared out like an ape which they were which oh, yeah, but resembled wait. resembled a chimpanzee <laughs> there's more okay. you're going to love is this is there does I it get I, better I, does it get I, better for them i don't think it's <laughs> yeah What's it? i think it gets better for us the perfect fit was an illusion that made Lucy's ah. hip bone seem to flare out like a chimp's. But all was not lost. I love this. The <laughs> perfect fit was an illusion. Uh, now, Bob, I, I mean, love illusions, brother. I do. I yeah, actually, I, just, I, was, I was in Las Vegas and I was speaking. Thank you very much. Yep, but I, yep. I had the opportunity to go to David Copperfield. Amazing. David Copperfield called me on stage, yep. made me disappear, and appear at the back wow. of the room. I know how well, it's done. Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you came back. You want to? Yeah, you want to know how he did forever it? That day. Uh, yeah. Well, next time, or yeah, for a hundred dollars, you can sell the book. What? What? I can't. I can't tell you, man, because what you happens in Vegas it. stays in Vegas. So. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> but David Copperfield could only dream of doing an illusion like this. Yeah. The perfect fit was an illusion, but all was not lost. You see. The name of our ministry is Reasons for Hope, and we place our hope in Jesus Christ. That's Jesus. why we always yep. have the asterisk leading to the answer, Jesus Christ. Yep. But guess what? There are also those that don't believe in God. They're placing their hope somewhere. Yep. And people that believe that Lucy is our evolutionary ancestor, they're placing their hope somewhere. Yep. Her pelvis showed that she walked upright. They're placing their hope somewhere. I want you yep. to see where they actually place their hope. And you know, quite frankly, 
if your eyes are open, close them for the next five seconds and listen to where they place their hope. And when they start talking, then you can watch. But take okay, a listen I'm going to do watch. that. Close them my Here eyes. we go. Okay. You can uh, watch. That, that sounds natural. You can watch. Lovejoy decided he could restore the pelvis to its natural shape. He didn't want to tamper with the original, so he made a copy in plaster. He cut the damaged pieces out and put them back together the way they were before Lucy died. It was a tricky job, but after taking the kink out of the pelvis, it all fit together perfectly, like a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. As a result, the angle of the hip looks nothing like a chimp's, but a lot like ours. As a result of, as a result of the hammering and chiseling, it now yeah. looks just Grinding. like yours, Carl. Yeah. See, <laughs> follow the evidence. This is where it gets yeah. really hard to follow the evidence, because when you go to every museum on this planet, other than the one place that they have the actual bones, which they don't put on display, what you see is this right here, a reconstruction mm where Lucy's hip has already been cleaned up to look human. That's not honest. Let's be, let's be fair about this. And, and, isn't that what real. we're trying to say? Point two yes. in the video, right? Point one, the fossil records does not show it. Yep. Part, point two is please look at all the stuff that they say is evidence. And it's in most of it all falls apart. I mean, when you're scheming and you find stuff and the bones don't fit and years later, it's a different bone, but you said it wasn't. And then you got to, find stuff that actually looks like a human, but you got to chisel it to fit into the piece that you find and use equipment. It's like, come on, this is what we're saying is like, please look at this and stuff I, and criticize it. Like you would anything else and just absolutely. look at it for us. I'm including you like, look at the, listen to our responses. You tell us how Lucy got there and how all this happened. This is all stuff. This is all true that I we're would, showing and, you. And I would put it like this, you know, what's wrong with you that you could accept that they've taken these, copies of these bones and carve them up and put them back together that the way that they want them to be. Yeah. And we shouldn't question that. No. Um, no, I'm sorry, man. When I saw this, I knew that there was some bad stuff going on. So, yeah. uh, well, when you pelvis, find the actual fossils, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. They and, had and, actual fossils. And, and the hands aren't there. The knees aren't there, you know, all this stuff. And then and the bones were in there. So we got a problem there. But then, hey, we don't like the way that didn't do it. So what happened is an animal crushed it. But let's put it back to the way it was by using a chisel and a, and, a, and some equipment to get it per back. But the perfect fit was an illusion. Right. Like, oh, my goodness, it's over this, and over and over again. This Ad is nauseum. That, it's just this is that intermingling of science and storytelling. And science fiction. Yeah. Science yep. fiction. So, uh, yeah. Well, the skull didn't prove that she walked up. Uh, he, I'm sorry, he walked up, right? Yep. The spinal right. column didn't prove that they walked up, right? The hips yep. didn't prove that they walked up, right? But there's one more piece. Let's take a listen. The shape of their feet. Another short and sweet clip. <laughs> but guess what, I guess what, we're Bob? taking that next time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's for next time. Shape of their feet. All right. Those, sh those short hey. clips take a long time to flush out. I know. Now I understand why he responded 30 minutes to ours. And what did I say? We're going to respond with 140 hours. We're going to get close to that. I think we're, we're way close. up there. But hey, this stuff's important. For for now, guys, please, r4h.com, debunk.org. Check out our stuff. Thanks for hanging with us. We're really trying to present to you the truth. And we, we take things that we see, quotes from people that are in other fields that aren't necessarily Christians, most of them aren't, to say, this is what we see, and let's check it out. That's all we're doing here. Remember, the fossil record does not prove evolution. Adios. See ya.